In this tutorial, you will learn how to read specific HTTP headers in the controller class of your Spring Boot RESTful Web Service application. To read HTTP request header in a method that handles HTTP request, we use the request header annotation. And on my screen, you see a REST controller class with four different methods. Each method handles different HTTP requests. So let's make a method that handles HTTP POST request to read a couple of HTTP request headers and then return their values in HTTP response. So to read HTTP header and to inject its value as an argument to my method, I will use the request header annotation. And let's say I want to read HTTP accept header. And to assign it to an accept header method argument. Let me close the outline so that we have more space. All right, so for this request header annotation to work, I will need to import it into my method. So this code here will read the value of HTTP accept header and it will inject it as an argument to my create user method. Now I can use it in my code, all right? So to read the value of another request header and to make it available to this method as well, I can use this annotation again. Let's say that this time we want to read HTTP authorization header. So I will add a comma here and on a new line, I will reuse the annotation, but I will simply copy the entire line and paste it here and will change the name of HTTP header that I want to read. And this time I want to read authorization header and I will assign it to authorization header method argument. So now when I have the values of both HTTP headers I need, I can use them in my code. And just for demonstration purposes, I will return them back in HTTP response body. Like this. And for this to work, I will need to import response entity into my controller class and HTTP status as well. And because my method is returning string, I will need to change the return data type to response entity. All right, so now let's run this application and see how it works. I will run it as Spring Boot application. And to trigger this method that is annotated with post mapping annotation, I'll need to send a HTTP POST request to a forward slash users web service endpoint. And to send that HTTP POST request, I will use Postman HTTP client. Here's my Postman HTTP client. I already have a tab. I will select HTTP POST method from the drop down menu here. And I will send HTTP POST request to HTTP localhost default port number of my application 8080 and then forward slash users same request mapping as I have in my users controller class, All right? And now I will switch to headers tab. And here in the headers tab, I will provide the two headers that the method in my controller class is reading. So the first one is HTTP accept header. As a key, I will type accept. And then the value I will provide application forward slash JSON. And the second header that my method in the controller class is expecting is authorization. So I will start typing authorization. It will auto suggest me authorization. And as authorization, I will provide, for example, beer and then an alphanumeric string of characters, just random characters as a value of the token. All right, so now let's send it and see how it works. All right, the HTTP request is successful. HTTP status is 200. And as a response body, I got back a JSON document with two keys that a method in my controller class has returned. All right, so everything is working well and you now know how to read values of specific HTTP headers and make them available in your code. But don't leave just yet. Please subscribe to my channel and please like this video if it was helpful to you.